Hi everyone, my name is Aurélie and this is Knit and Read. Today I wanted to do the time for tea and books tag. This is a tag I have discovered on Linda's World of Books channel, but uh, the original tag was created by Butterfly Elephant Books. So I will link both channels down below in the description box. I have my questions and answers printed. Uh, since I love tea and books, I thought it would be a lovely tag to do. I haven't done a tag in a while and I kind of miss it, so if you're curious about my answers, then uh, keep watching. Question 1. Choosing your tea. Uh, which genres of books do you tend to lean towards? I love many different kinds of genres. I have recently published videos about my favorite historical fiction and uh, favorite fantasy books. So of course, those are, are two genres I'm very fond of. Um, but I also love classics. I love uh, plays as well, uh, especially plays um, by Shakespeare or plays written by uh, 17th century French authors which we call classical theater uh, in French literature. I try to branch out to more recent uh, theater, <laughs> 19th and 20th century. I read very diversely, I feel, except perhaps for poetry. I would say the only genre I don't uh, lean towards uh, is poetry. And as for, the, as for the tea prompt of this question, uh, what kind of teas uh, do you lean towards? I tend to prefer black tea blends and uh, herbal tea. I have brought several brands and types of tea uh, I, I like, so I'm going to show you. So when it comes to black blends, I really love English teas, English blends. But for breakfast, typically I won't spend too much money. I prefer to uh, buy something simple like this stately English breakfast because English breakfast teas tend to be very bitter and uh, low quality and they work just fine for breakfast. So why should I ruin myself for this? I prefer to invest in um, organic herbal teas. I really love the yogi tea, the, the, their classic chai tea. Uh, which is not tea, actually, it's herbal tea, so there, there's no caffeine in it, there's no property in it. It's a blend of spices and herbs, and I really love this one, I highly recommend it. And another kind you can find also in uh, organic shops is this one. So this is a Roibos Destination Premium, uh, I really love. I, this is the best Roibos I have drunk so far, so I highly recommend it. So those are the kinds of teas I, I tend to drink. I will touch on green tea later on with another question, so that's it for now. Question two, hot water. What books make, made you feel gripped by the main character's plight? So this is supposed to be a very cozy tag, but uh, the second question <laughs> uh, could burst the bubble <laughs> pretty hard. Uh, I have to go with The Brave by Gregory MacDonald. I won't linger on this book because I have already dedicated a full video to it, so I will link that down below. Um, but this is a very tough book to read. Uh, the main character's plight, uh, Raphael's plight, is very uh, difficult to stomach. Uh, so big warning <laughs> with this book. Uh, I was overwhelmed at times. Uh, this story broke my heart. It grabbed my guts and squeezed. You know, this is a difficult read. But this is also beautiful. And I was fully engaged uh, in Raphael's destiny, uh, emotionally engaged. And um, I hadn't read something that disturbing and that 
moving in a long long time so i feel a rave coming <laughs> so i will stop there and um yeah gear you towards uh the the, the full review I, I did on on this book so my answer would be definitely the brave by gregory mcdonald as for the the tea related question do you prefer hot or iced tea i prefer hot tea but of course this is very hot in france we've had um, several episodes of uh, heat waves and of course I tend to drink uh, high tea uh, during this time of year and the one I am drinking right now is this one pure leaf uh, with uh, this is a green tea with uh, mint I tend to prefer green tea when it's cold I don't drink green tea hot. As I said, I prefer uh, black tea blends. This one is the, the one with the less sugar I could find in my grocery store. I also, uh, whenever I have the chance to do it, I also buy iced green teas from uh, Asia with no sugar, done right green tea, put in a bottle and in the freezer. And that's the way I like it. So. This one I will recommend if you find it in your grocery store. And uh, the other thing would be to go to an Asian grocery store and uh, stock up on the iced green tea. Question three. Brew time. What book improved for you over reading or rereading? I would tell you to go watch my video, uh, my discussion about giving books a second chance because this is basically what this video is about. But for today, I would like to mention uh, Madame Bovary, a French classic I have already mentioned several times on this channel, especially in this video, uh, giving books a second chance. When I had to read this as a teenager, I hated it. It was boring, the main character is unlikable as heck, and uh, yeah, like, like most French students who are required to read this for school, I hated it. And then when I read it, two, perhaps two years ago, I reread it and I really enjoyed it. This was a totally different reading experience. And uh, this is actually one of my favorite French classics now, but it was not always the case. So yeah, for today's tag, Madame Bovary will be my answer. So the tea question, uh, connected to brew time, the, the third uh, question is how much milk do you add? Well, it depends on the tea, of course, um, but uh, usually I add milk with my breakfast uh, tea and I tend to add a little too much. <laughs> question four, milk and sugar? What are your favorite actual and accidental bookmarks? <laughs> Well, uh, the ones I have to show you are actual bookmarks. I don't do accidental bookmarks, <laughs> just so you know. So the first one I want to show you is this one. Sorry about the glare. Yeah. It was offered to me by a, a very dear friend, and she found it uh, in the shop of our French National Library, our Bibliothèque Nationale. This is a detail of a French... Uh, miniature, a French uh, medieval book by Jean Fouquet, who was a French painter of the 15th century. And I really love it because this is, this is so cute. This is a gorgeous work, uh, Inuit craft, you know, and I love it because of the ribbon. Uh, so does my cat. So I have to be very careful when I, I use this. The second one is this one made of leather that I bought in York, uh, perhaps 12 years ago. Uh, I don't use this one as often, but uh, I really love it. So this is green with golden details. And the last one I wanted to show you is this one, which says, Une journée sans lire est une journée gâchée. Uh, it would be roughly translated, a day without reading is a day that is wasted. <laughs> uh, 
which uh, I tend to agree with. <laughs> Question five: the perfect the perfect tea set. Do you display your books or keep them secret? Well, when I can, I display my books, as you can see with this bookshelf in our bedroom. But uh, my wife and I, we have lots of books and uh, not so much space in our apartment. So uh, there's a lot of books that are actually uh, sleeping in our cupboards. <laughs> I will insert pictures uh, and so uh, if we could we would display all of them but uh, as for now we can't so we have to uh, put a lot of our books in uh, in uh, closing cupboards so yeah that's uh, the state of our uh, personal library for now and the other question the tea related question do you have a favorite mug, cup, or teapot? Yes, I have <laughs> uh, several of those. Uh, as usual <laughs> with my tags, I cannot content myself with one answer, so bear with me. <laughs> the first one I want to show you is this mug, which is the perfect size for uh, tea and uh, cappuccino, because sometimes I drink coffee. Let's be honest. <laughs> and uh, let me check. This is actually a collab between uh, Cat Kidston and Queen's Kitchen. I don't know if you can see. So I don't know if Cat Kidston still makes these. Uh, I have bought this one uh, several years ago, and uh, this is uh, one of my favorites. This is the one I reach for uh, on a daily basis. And I, I really love this uh, English tea set pattern <laughs> of course watch my clothes watch our beds yeah you see a pattern when <laughs> <Pun> intended <laughs> yeah so that's the first one i want to show you the second one i have had for many many years this is my beloved uh, disney mug <laughs> with Bourriquet, I don't remember his name in, in English. So uh, this is uh, bigger. <laughs> this is almost a cauldron. So this one I, I really love and I use uh, very often, especially in the winter. And the last one and the newest one in my collection I want to show you is this. So you have the plate and the actual cup. So this is what we call uh, in French a uh, petit déjeuner with a big cup, a lower but rounder uh, cup and uh, the, the little plate. As you can see, English roses. Uh, again, uh, so British. The, the pattern is so British. I really love it. And the brand is, yeah, <laughs> guess what? British. Royal Garden, you know. This one is a gift from my wife, so of course it's very, very dear to me. <laughs> uh, apart from the fact that it's very beautiful, this is a gift uh, from my wife, so I really, really love it. And uh, since it's new, I haven't used it as much as the two others I've shown you, but uh, it's it's a plan. I plan on doing on doing just that. Question six. Sip and sigh. Is there a book that makes you feel cozy immediately? So if you've already watched several of my videos, you won't be surprised when I show you this, this book, this actual horror book, Chasse à by Dean Koontz. Uh, the original title is Watchers. And uh, this is a horror book. This is a legit horror book. But because it is centered around the figure of um, a golden retriever, a very smart golden retriever uh, called Anstein. <laughs> I really love this book. This is a cozy read for me. <laughs> As usual, blaming the dog for this but weird a choice of cozy read. And um, what is your favorite setup for drinking tea? I love to drink tea uh, on, on the couch. Uh, in our living room 
this is a place where I knit, this is a place where I sit to watch TV with my wife, uh, so this is uh, my, my um, cozy corner in, in the house. And I also love to drink tea at work, as weird as it sounds. Um, this is the place where I spend a lot of time every day and I drink a lot of tea every day. And uh, so this is a ritual at work that I really, really value uh, in my daily life. Question seven, another cup? A book you are currently reading or when you plan, you plan to read next? I will actually answer both parts of the question. I am currently reading Agatha Christie, La Maison Biscornu, Crooked House. Uh, I am almost almost done. I'm really enjoying it so far, but uh, for the first time, perhaps, I feel I have guessed who done it. <laughs> that will be a first with an Agatha Christie book, so we shall see if I'm right or wrong. I'm really enjoying myself. This is a cozy read in its own, own right. <laughs> so that's the one I'm currently reading. And I will, uh, right after this one, uh, start rereading Le Grand Moule by Alain Fournier because we have a read-along going on in September. And the tea question is, how often do you drink tea? Uh, several times a day, every day, uh, with water. This is the, the drink I have uh, on a regular basis. I drink lots and lots of tea. So uh, now you see why I felt this uh, tag was right up my alley. <laughs> I love tea and I love books. So there you have it. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. Please let me know in the comments uh, which tea you prefer or consider yourself tagged if you want to do it. I would love to see your take on this lovely, lovely tag. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Au revoir.